Hi Eat Tankers, welcome to the Eat Tank video blog. I'm Alvero, and today we're gonna to talk about omega-6s and omega-3s. What in the world is all this omega-3 and omega-6 talk? <clears throat> omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids are polyunsaturated fatty acids. They are kinds of unsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fatty acids that we humans need. We need them to do stuff inside our bodies. And they do slightly different things. It turns out omega-6 fatty acids favor inflammation inside of our bodies and omega-3 fatty acids are actually anti-inflammatory. And something that favors inflammation in your body isn't necessarily bad for you. You have to have some inflammation. You have to be able to fight off infections and you have to be able to mount an inflammatory response when there is an insult to your body. So we do need to be able to have something which promotes inflammation. Likewise, anti-inflammatories are very important as well. It's all about the balance. It's like the saturated, unsaturated fat story. You have to have the right amount of balance. Well, you have to have the right balance of omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. You don't want too much of either. So what is a proper six to three ratio? Well, as it turns out throughout all of history, the six to three ratio in the human diet, depending on whether your tribe of people lived near an ocean or in the jungle or wherever, the, the, the typical ratio was somewhere around four to one to one to one, maybe even one to four, but right about there. On the other hand, the six to three ratio that is in westernized diets, like in the United States, is close to 20 to one, much higher than we're accustomed to. And why is this? It's because we eat foods that are so densely rich in omega-6 fatty acids. And why do we do this? We don't do it on purpose. There is a mass production of foods that are made with processed vegetable oils, such as soybean oil or corn oil. And as it turns out, these two oils are extremely high in omega-6 fatty acids. Up to 20% of our food is thought to have some sort of soy product in it. Um, and if you look at any of your nutrition labels, invariably, you're going to see something about soybean oil or corn oil. And this is what's caused the, the 6 to 3 ratio to dramatically favor 6s in the westernized diet like in the United States. And what does this do? It shifts the balance. Now your inflammation, anti-inflammation balance is way in favor of inflammation. And why do we care if we have so much inflammation? Well, as it turns out, one of the main causes of atherosclerosis, the buildup of plaque and stuff and unpleasantness in your heart arteries that causes heart attacks and strokes, one of the cornerstones of developing a plaque in your artery is inflammation. And it is thought that this imbalance of 6 to 3 in the human diet in the United States and in westernized countries, that this imbalance leads to the number one killer of humans on earth, which is heart attacks and strokes. This imbalance, this 20 to one ratio that we have is killing us. So we need to make sure that we rebalance our sixes and threes, get back to the four to one to one to one, maybe even one to four ratio. And how do we do this? What does all this mean functionally? Dr. Alvaro, Mr. Eat Tank Guy. Basically, you have to eat less food with processed oils in it. You simply have to. You have to minimize the amount of omega-6s you're putting into your body. This will shift the ratio back. You can also maximize your omega-3s, although this is a little more difficult. Omega-3 fatty acids, the kind your body can use, are predominantly found in cold water fish like salmon and tuna and mackerel. Um, you can also find omega-3s in the plant-based world, but they're not as readily used by your body. Way more important, way more important than increasing your omega-3 is decreasing your omega-6 intake. Decrease the amount of processed soybean and corn oils that you're putting into your body. So read your food labels or Google them, whatever you have to do to figure out what is in it to better balance your omega-6 to 3 ratio. Minimize your sixes, maximize your threes. Don't eat raw fish, kids. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh.